Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will try my best to explain the difference between the root user, a super user and a regular user to you, because user rights and its management is one of the first concepts you have to understand when dealing with Linux. If you want to dive deeper into the topic, for example to know where the central user database is stored or want to have a cheat sheet, check out our blog post which will be linked in the description. But now let's start. The different users explained. There are three, or to be precise, four types of users in the Linux universe. The root user, the regular user, the super user and system users. The root user. The root user is basically the god on any Linux machine. As a root user you can execute any command, install any package, manage, create and delete all users, delete files and directories and, if you really wanted to, destroy the whole server with just one command. But with great power comes great responsibility, so never execute any command you don't know. But how do you actually know if you are the root user? That's simple. If you are logged in as the root user, it says root in front of the at sign. If it doesn't, you are not the root user. Easy, isn't it? The regular user. A regular user is the type of user which you can create with the at user command. It has only writes in its own home directory, isn't able to install any packages or create or delete files or directories outside of its own directory. Pretty boring, right? The super user. If a regular user is too boring for you, then let me introduce the super user to you. The super user is basically a regular user, but with elevated permissions. Or to be precise, with root permissions. To become a super user, use the sudo i command and then type in the root password. Now you are able to destroy the server, eh, uh, I mean install important packages. By the way, there are two obstacles to become a super user. The first one was that you have to know the root password. The second one is that you have to be on the sudo's list to be able to execute the sudo i command. To get in the guest list, eh, uh, I mean sudo's list, kindly ask your system administrator to execute the following command. The system users. If you found regular users boring, then meet the system users. They are just users created by different Linux packages or other programs to run some stuff. It's not interesting enough to dive deeper into it. Or to be honest, don't ever mess with them with trying to change anything related to them or your server might malfunction. That's why I won't tell you more about them. But that's it already. If you liked the video, leave a like. Also consider subscribing so you won't miss any further tutorials.